Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Min. If you do not know who I am, I run a marketing agency with my partner, Alex. He's currently in Mexico right now. So the beauty of running your own business. I'm a 20 year old entrepreneur and I'm on the way to reach my vision goals and desires. What I'm actually making this video on is the experience that I've had. And also with the thing that I'm, the agency that I'm building right now, I want to create these YouTube videos for you guys to relate to what I'm doing as a young entrepreneur. I'm only 20 years old and a lot of entrepreneurs are now coming to the rise which is amazing i love and i love people who are willing to you know spend a lot of time energy and effort and are passionate about you know solving a specific problem in the world our agency specifically specialized in helping cleaning business owners develop prospecting systems now you know there are systems that we use that we pretty much just implement into that industry and most of the time other industry reach out to us and if it's the right fit we feel like we have some time we'll be more than happy to help them out as well well, now, you know, who's, who's probably watching this video? If you're an agency owner, if you're looking to start a digital agency, or matter of fact, if you're in sales, you should be watching this video because this is what the video is going to be about. All right, what are the two things that I've recently learned in sales uh, that really helped not just me, but my sales advisor close deals. Like we literally implemented this in and with, with me just getting off the phone call with him, we closed in a deal. I'll put a screenshot right here. And, uh, you know, we play a role at least once a day, if not every other day, uh, depending on, you know, his calendar, if it's booked or not. And on my end and my partner Alex and our ultimate goal is to funnel as many meetings as possible. And that's creating content for the industry, that's uh, doing ads, that's doing prospecting via emails and systems that we've created where I no longer have to send thousands of messages, hundreds and thousands of emails, or even reach out to people on LinkedIn because we have systems to do that. Now, I will leave that to the side. I'll create another video if you guys wanna see, you know, the systems that we have developed within our agency to land meetings. And we're seeing anywhere from 10 to 15 meetings per week. Just leave a comment below if you guys wanna see that. But I wanted to show you guys the two things I've recently learned that really shift the way I look at sales. And also on top of that, have gotten us to be able to close a deal within like hours after me being able to play role with uh, my sales advisor, right? Number one is this. So there's two things. There's two things that I've learned. And also just to give you guys a heads up, if you're in sales, I've been in sales for almost two years now and I've closed dozens and dozens of deals ranging anywhere from $250 to $2,000 um, a month. Um, so with that being said, the two things I've recently learned has really shifted my mindset. And the reason why I said mindset, it's because 80% of sales is actually in your mind. It's your mindset. How do you look at it? And 20% is technique. So a lot of these, you know, big uh, sales guru or sales expert, I don't like to say the word guru, everybody is talented and eligible in one, their specific thing in life. Like we can't, I'm not gonna judge you on what you tell me, I'm gonna just implement things that I feel like it's gonna fit for who I am because I've always believed, sell how you like to be sold, right? So these sales experts always giving you these techniques. Hey, how to handle this objection? Hey, you know, how to handle if somebody says they don't have money, how to handle if they say they wanna think about it. All of this comes down to technique, right? And that's 20% of the sale. But this, the, the two things I've learned shifted my mindset, which is 80% of the sale. If you just get to shift your mindset, so by the time you're done watching this video and you know these two things, you're gonna shift your mindset going into these calls and you're going to see better results. Number one is serve, okay? Number one is serve. And what do I mean by serve? So at Elite Digital, we do not pitch, offer, or give a chance to anybody if we don't think we can serve them. So going back to what we do, we help cleaning owners or the cleaning industry develop prospecting systems to put them in front of their ideal clients, like through automation, through systems and processes. So if they're looking for hiring, hey, I don't have enough employees, man, I'm doing well with, you know, getting more clients or contracts. I'm like, well, we can't really serve you. Luckily with us, we've branded ourselves, we've created relationships where we can refer them to people. But if you can't serve them, it, literally what they told me, the problem that they're having, there's no way I can serve you here at Elite Digital because we built systems to help you with client acquisition and you're doing fine, okay? So I'm not going to be able to offer, talk, or discuss further about what we do because it's wasting both of each other's time. When it comes down to them needing more contracts, leads, opportunities, 
and need help with client acquisition and they're like, man, I'm doing X, Y, and Z. I need help. What can you guys do? Perfect. I, right off the bat, I can serve you. That means I can show you what I do. Number one is serve. Can you serve the client is what you have to ask yourself. And I just gave you guys two examples of agency not being able to serve somebody and the agency being able to serve somebody. So you guys can look in your own business and see, hey, you know, can I serve this prospect? Can I serve the problem that they're having right now? Can I solve it? Number two is when the deal at all costs. Now, literally two minutes ago, I said, hey, you know, we don't force the sale. We don't force the sale. You don't force the sale if you can't serve them. But when it comes to you being able to serve them, and I told my sales advisor this, you gotta keep this in mind. You guys probably heard this before. The money's in the follow-up. Hey, follow up with this person. It takes seven to 10 touches before you can close them. So follow up with them. That is the mentality that you have to have. The money is in the follow-up. Client that I showed you a screenshot of earlier was speaking with us like middle of like August. And now in November, early November, we closed them. How? Because I told them, you gotta win the deal at all costs. And when we, when we got off the play roll call, I'm like, dude, if you can serve them, you gotta win the deal at all costs. He reached back out, he got on the call, re-pitched our services, and the client went ahead and moved forward. So winning the deal at all costs. So if you can serve the client, for instance, hey, you have a problem, I can help you. Now here's the thing, guys, you're not the only person trying to help them. So I understand this and I told myself one thing. One thing I can control is this. I told my sales advisor, you can control the effort that you put in to follow up, to reach back out, to provide value to the prospect after the sales call. If you couldn't close on the first call, what you can control next is following up, setting value, and the touch points that you make with the prospect we will win the deal at all costs. And that's the mentality, that's the mindset that we have that we can serve them. How to get fired up to win the deal at all costs is this. Imagine if you can serve this client, you can help the client out, but they say, no, it's not the right time. They give you an objection and you go, hey, I totally understand, whatever, get off the phone call with them. And then they go work with somebody else. You're like, why, wait, why didn't you work for me? Why did you work for them? And you're gonna blame them. Oh, you're, you're just not a good client anyways. Like you picked that agency rather than me, whatever it is. No, it's your fault, right? If you can't win the deal and you can serve them, it's your fault. I don't care if they went to a different agency, they spent some money somewhere else, right? Let's just say they go to a different agency and they spend money there and they don't get results and they reach back out to you or they don't even reach back out to you. It's your fault that the client had to waste money and spent time somewhere else and didn't get results because you didn't know how to win the deal at all costs because you didn't have that mindset before you watched Min's video. Now, if you wanna see more of Min's video, you can click the subscribe button. And on top of that, if you want me to create more videos, click the like button. These two tips, it's going to take your sales to the next level because it just reprograms your mind. So number one is serving. Can you serve them? Number two is winning the deal at all costs. Make sure you follow up, you call, you text, you email the client. Now, don't be annoying. Let my sales advisor know, hey, listen, you gotta provide value. You gotta provide, you know, the more than just, hey, did you get my invoice? Hey, you know, or when are you gonna pay? You gotta be able to provide solutions to their life. Now that's being creative and resourceful, which then I can make another video. There's so many different videos I can make, but the two things you guys need to understand here when it comes to the mindset uh, that helped us, you know, sign the deal within hours after knowing this and play rolling it and understanding it, you know, the beauty of, you know, shifting your mindset is you get to implement it right away. Technique takes practice, right? Mindset, if you just shift it, if you know how to shift it and you, you get access to actual proven strategies because the person I got this from is you know a very well-known sales expert. So I was like, let me give it a shot, it makes sense. And I wouldn't want somebody you know, to pitch me if they couldn't serve me. There's no point. They will be wasting my time and, and, and their time. So it's like, okay, I, I like that. You know, I like to be sold. I like to sell how I like to be sold. So I took that analogy. He's like, when the deal at all costs. I'm like, well, I like somebody who follow up with me and who are consistent, who are, you know, on top of their shit. Because let's just say you talk to um, my agency and you talk to us one time, we can serve you. But then you say, no, nah, I gotta, you know, wait, whatever the hell it is. And we never reach back out to you. We never even get in touch with you. 
you're going like, damn, your follow-up game is garbage. You're not even spending time to reach back out to me to see how I'm doing. Had about three to four, you know, sales calls that have been done on me in the last, I would say, year now, and none of them followed up with me. None of them. That means we were looking for a solution. They had the solution and I gave them like, hey, you know, I got to talk to my partner or hey, you know, I'm going to get out of the money or I'm going to wait or I'm going to think about all that type of stuff. And they have not followed up with me since. And I was like, yo, there's some companies out there. Out of those four, if two of them just reach back out to me, I'm ready to go right now right? But they just don't because they don't understand. You got to win the deal at all costs. So develop the mindset that you have to be able to serve them before you give them an offer, show them what you do. And then number two is you have to win the deal at all costs. Be resourceful, be creative, and figure out how you can win the deal. Is that like saying, listen, if the client doesn't want to pay you four grand up front and the only way for them to work with you is if they split into two payments and you say no, you just gave up money that was never inside your pocket. Those are revenue that you're just pushing away. Get the client on board, take the two payments, deliver amazing results, and they would never have a problem paying you again. So it's a shift of mindset, guys, and that is pretty much it. Serve and win the deal at all costs. If you have any questions, you can leave it below. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave it in the description below. Other than that, again, click subscribe if you guys want to see more videos. I think I gave like three video suggestions to myself in this video, so there's going to be tons of videos coming out. And also click the like button. So YouTube pushes this video up because a lot of people has got to see this. It's no longer let's push the sale. Oh, uh, you got to do it now or your business is going to fail. All that type of stuff is gone garbage old. It's in the new wave now, which is you got to win the deal at all costs by being creative and resourceful and also understanding if they have a problem, you need to solve it. And when you know you can solve it, you don't get off the phone call or stop following up with them until you win the deal at all costs. That is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will talk to you guys. Girl about a ten I should fuck her in the best